Hey coach, welcome back to our channel. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with all the content that we put out. So at this point, we have success coaches within our company who are putting out content on a regular basis. Pretty much every 24 hours, we have a bit of content going out to help you to scale and to grow your business. So make sure you subscribe to the channel to stay up to date. And if you want to get in contact with, with me to talk about your business, I offer these free 15 to 20 minute calls where we can jump on Zoom. I can ask you a couple of questions to do with your business and I can share with you some actionable steps that you can take this week to grow and scale your business to the next level. Now, if you want to reach out to me, but you don't want to jump on that Zoom call, you can send me an email to makemoneycoachingsports at gmail.com, right? Those are the two ways to get in contact with me and to connect with me, right? So today I want to talk about the simple maths to growing your local soccer training business. Now, this uh, formula or this strategy comes from our accelerator program. It comes from uh, Ben. Right, Ben, when he first started his his soccer coaching business out in Texas, he used this formula to grow to over a hundred clients per year. Right, and what I want to do is I want to break it down to make it very very simple for you, and I want to explain it step by step. Now, I want to be completely clear here: we have implemented this with the clients that we work with currently. And they've got great results, but it only works if you're consistent, number one, and also if you're keeping track of your numbers, right? If you're not consistent, if you do it for one week and then stop, then it doesn't work long term, okay? But if you stay consistent with it, you keep track of your numbers, right? And you do follow up with, with prospects, you get on sales calls. Right, you do what you have to do. You'll be able to grow your clientele from anywhere between 60 to 72 new clients per year into your training business. Okay, so I want to break this down step by step. Right, so the first bit is connect with three local connections per day. Right, so Monday to Friday, the goal is to make three new connections per day. Right. So this could be parents. This could be coaches who have contacts or influence in your local area with with players that you want to work with. This could be with teams. This could be with clubs. This could be with organizations. This could be with schools. Right. Those are just six of many ways that you can build connections in your local area. OK, so if you try to every single day connect with three new connections, whether that be talking to three new parents, whether that be connecting with three new coaches, whether that be going out to watch games and and connecting with uh, parent coaches, talking to, to club directors, right? Connecting with three local club directors per day, right? If you do that, over Monday to Friday, okay, that's essentially 15 per week that you will be connecting with, okay? So 15 per week equal, equals 60 connections per month, which totals, if you're consistent with it and you've got the numbers correct, equals 720 new connections that you're making per year. Right. So if out of those 72, 720 connections that you're making per year, if you're if you're managing to close 10 percent of those connections, right, that will equal to 70 new clients per year that you can add into your training business. Now, we've done this formula with coaches. Some coaches at the beginning, they've started with free local free connections per day. So they've done free free connections per day. And then as they've got confidence and as they've become very consistent, that number is up to, to 5, 10, 20. 
right? There's one coach that we've worked with. He makes it a mission Monday to Friday to, to, to make at least 20 new connections per day. And imagine if you were to do that over the course of 12 months, how much growth your business would have. So connections could be talking to parents, emailing parents, right? Sending parents videos, okay? Uh, DMing parents, putting social media content out there. So you get engagement and then you follow up with that engagement. Okay? Reaching out to local clubs, teams, schools, YMCA organizations, offering to run clinics, okay? speaking with a decision maker. So loads of ways that you can make those free new connections every single day. And as I mentioned, if you're consistent with it, over the course of 12 months, you will see a big jump in growth within your business. Okay. It doesn't work if you're really consistent one week and then you stop the next and then you're consistent again and then you stop and then you get back out. Right. That just doesn't work long term. Anything done properly needs to be done every single day. Okay. So you make it a mission Monday to Friday to keep the statistics on how many contacts you are making, right? The more contacts you make, the more contracts you, you get. Okay, so contacts equals contracts. The more contact we can have with parents, the more we can get ourselves out there in front of parents, in front of coaches that have influence with over, over the players that we wanna work with, right? The more contracts essentially that we're going to sign, we're going to get, more business we're going to make okay so keep the maths very simple and this is a very simple way of growing your local soccer training business right three connections monday to friday per day that equals to 15 per week equals 60 per month equals to 720 contacts you're making per year and if out of those 720 you convert 10%, that equals 72 new clients per year that you're adding into your program, okay? So the likelihood, if you're staying consistent with it, you'll probably get a higher conversion rate and you'll probably get a higher contacts connections rate, right? So if you start off with three, the chances are, if you stay consistent, you're going to grow the, the amount of connections you're going to make. Three might turn into six, six might turn into nine, nine turns into 10. But ultimately, what we have to do is we have to remember it's a, it's a numbers game. Okay? And we've got to stay consistent with the numbers, with the maths, and making sure that we continue to make connections within our local area. Okay. Now, this works once, once you build a connection within your local area and you have exhausted your contact list, right? Another way, if you want to then branch out into a new city is using the exact same concept, right? So in your local town or city, you have exhausted your, your contact. You made connections with all parents in that area, all the clubs, all the coaches, all the organizations, right? I personally believe it's impossible because every single day new parents are moving into the area. But if you have for some reason connected with every single person and built out a great client list of people, now what we can do is we can move into the local area, into the local city, a, a city that's not far from you. We can take that same concept and then move it into that city right can we start to build connections with parents can we start to build connections with with elementary schools high schools right youth organizations ymcas okay anyone that has access to kids rec centers okay rec departments you know every every little town across the united states there's there's these rec departments that want to get their local youth uh, kids engaged in sports right can you reach out to those rec departments and offer your services 
Okay, so make local connections, make connections Monday to Friday, very simple, three per day equals 15 per week, equals 60 per month, equals 720 per year. You're managing to convert 10% of them, you'll add 72 new clients per day. All right, if you need more help with this, I'll be more than happy to jump on a Zoom call and help you with it, okay? Thank you for watching and make sure you subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all the latest content that we put out.